Neural networks are made up of layers that contain nodes, which are connected to each other via weights. In this diagram here, everything that's in white is what we have learned about already as it pertains to neural network architecture. So we know that this group of nodes here, for example, is considered a layer and that the layer is made up of these nodes, which are connected to other layers via weights. Now, what's new in this diagram is what is in pink here, which are the bias nodes that correspond to each one of our output nodes in this hidden layer here. So far in our discussion of neural networks, we've left out these bias nodes just for simplicity purposes, but now we will introduce them and elaborate on what exactly their function is within a network. Generally, in a neural network, each node has its own corresponding bias. These bias terms are also referred to as bias nodes or bias neurons. When we build a neural network, we can decide whether or not we want to include these bias nodes. Even though we have the choice of whether or not to include these terms, it is the norm to do so. And as such, we see popular neural network APIs like PyTorch and TensorFlow include bias terms for each layer in a network by default. 